Hey guys, Jen here. I am making a coffee soap. It's been a long time since I have made French vanilla coffee. We've got our little coffee bean embeds and I may add some chocolate embeds on top. You know, it's French vanilla, you know, it's sweet. So I've got my lye solution here that is made with coffee and it does have a few coffee grounds in it. Um, I do have extra coffee grounds to put in the soap for scrubbiness. Getting ready. To pour this. Doesn't have a lot of coffee grounds in it. Just a few. Well, you know what? I don't have any titanium dioxide mixed up. I'm going to have to do that. Because I do like to portion off a small part for the top for like a frosting. <coughs> Alright guys, I'm going to pause and mix up to ti some titanium dioxide. Okay, so I filled up my little bottle and then I had some left over so I just left it in there. All right, we're going to start the soap. We'll start by cleaning off my stick blender head. <laughs> it had some pink left on it from the last batch. So we'll get that off of there. People will buy this soap every year and keep it solely in their kitchen. The coffee is wonderful for help removing scent on your hands or whatever. Now this is a very simple soap as well. Um, other than I'm going to do some goody things on top. Okay. Got that. See, there wasn't many coffee grounds in there. Oopsies. Not many. I'm going to portion off some for our topping. Probably about two cups. We'll do it. That'll be good. Fragrant. We're going to put the rest of our coffee grounds in the soap. We let it nice and scrubby to get rid of all of that stuff. Now I put fragrance in the topping and I shouldn't have. It's probably going to discolor really dark. Oh well. Maybe it'll stay a different color than the base. The base will darken quite a bit. it to get it going. Uh, 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 uh. 
my grandma and mom. This smells amazing. I love this scent. I brewed some coffee this morning for the purpose of this soap. <laughs> I'm not a coffee drinker. I love the smell of coffee. I'm just not a coffee drinker. I never have been. Right. Now I just have to wait for our top to set up. Be right back. Okay guys, we are ready. I can't decide what I want to do. <laughs> I think I'm going to pipe. If I can get a piping bag. Or you know what? I have a gallon Ziploc bag right here. It serves the same purpose. Cut this end off. Give us a tip. Put it in here. Trusty old tape. I'm like, I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> now this pretty to topping is probably going to discolor, but it's okay. Having such a good time today, piping and soaping and just, you know, all that good stuff. Alright, now I think what I'm going to do, is I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do it. Kind of looks like turds right now. <laughs> I did not say that on camera. This end is a little bit shy. Not no more. So it's okay that it's not perfect because I'm gonna mess it all up anyways. I think I have decided to put these on. Counting. So I need thirteen. That's seven. 
They may be too close together. They are. the little beans. I like gonna have to take my gloves off for the beans because they're so tiny. I just need something to put them on with. Turn this so you guys can watch. Everyone is going to have three little beans. In no particular like placement other than on there. bean almost didn't make it. Come on now. I don't want you. Okay, I'll have to get it with tweezers later. Upside down. Cannot be upside down. Because then you can't see the bean. Bring you back when we cut it. Hey guys, we are about to cut the coffee soap. And as you can see, my topping is turning a caramely color. I don't know how dark it will go. I'll just have to see. 
And I don't think I'm going to cut an end slice because it's really pretty. Yeah, I can see the discoloration. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see it. Um, I'll show you on the next cut. See if you guys, I don't know if you're going to be able to pick it up or not. Yeah, right around the edges you can see the ring. But it's super cute. Now, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to cut a little end piece off of this one. Not much. Just a little. That way, this bar is a normal size bar, and not one that's ginormous. Zoom me in just a hair. Turned out really good. I'm gonna still kick myself for putting the fragrance in the topping. Totally forgot. Now this one, I'm going to have to cut a little piece off because I didn't measure properly placing my embeds. There we go. Now the rest of them hopefully will be about right. So I've cut off the end about what I normally would, or I've cut off about what I normal normally would when I'm making soap, when I'm cutting them. Hopefully all the other bars are about right. So far, so good. <laughs> Alright, I should be able to just cut this one in half. Let's see. Yep, I made it. Alright guys, thanks for watching.